I'm up about five, five thirty. So every morning it starts with a run. And that's because that's the one thing I hate to do more than anything in the world. So that's like my cup of coffee. And I'm all about armoring yourself. So the second you leave your house and the second you open your phone, the second you do any of that, you are now letting in poison and cancer. So I make sure a lot of things you can't avoid. So as I get up, I start to armor plate my mind and body. Like a person's going to war, you put your body armor on. That's what I'm doing on that run. I'm waking up and I'm giving myself all this armor. So when I come out in the world and I look at that phone, I'm ready. I'm not waking up late. I'm not rushing around. I'm not disorganized. Because I know I'm going to get hit in the, the mouth. There's, a, there's an art to getting hit in the, the mouth. And that is why these things are important. You have to wake up and you have to give yourself belief. You have to give yourself confidence. So that, it starts with that. So there's okay. 24 hours, and I, and I use it all pretty well because a lot of people will, and some of these motivational people out here, it's, it's the funniest thing in the world to me. They'll go and say, when you wake up in the morning, pound your chest. You know, fucking look at yourself in the mirror and do all this fucking bullshit. I hope it works. What works for me is that everyday resume, the things I know I've accomplished, the things I know I've done, real hard work, the real calluses on my mind, the real calluses on my hands. That's that's it. The, you don't need to pound your chest in the mirror the fuck anymore if you have that. I believe that you have to build belief. Belief is like, there's an after school special belief where the mom says, believe in yourself, and that's all great, but there's also a built belief. And the built belief is one where you are constantly, like for me, I came from a bad place. How I build belief is through the daunting tasks I put myself through. So that's proof positive that I can. So it correlates. And that's how this piece of shit kid I once thought I was built belief by saying, hmm, I was in three hell weeks. I went to ranger school. I tried out for Delta Selection. That is proof, motherfucker. So whenever you think, whenever you think you can't, Confidence comes from the thing that you built. You must build belief. You must build confidence. It can't be like, hey, um, I'm going to knock that shit out. You got to look over here and say, I can knock that shit out. It's belief and it's built on what you put in to yourself. A lot of it is limited horizons. Limited horizons are like, I use me as an example always. I came from a small town in Indiana where there was a handful of black families. And a lot of people in that town, when you come from a town of 8,000 people, it's like we had a local plant, Great Dane. And you're like, you know what? I want to work at Great Dane and get a house next to my mom. That's what you know. So many of us come from these small places in our mind that we're not willing to think outside of only what we've seen. Our mind works in such a small compartment. And one thing I was able to do was to dream. Many people, but don't make dreams your fucking master. But I was able to dream outside those fucking four walls of that small town. And until you're able to really put yourself into that dream, but don't make dreams your master, that's where you truly become what you're destined to become. A lot of people sit back and they dream about being a sports figure or dream about being a SEAL or dream about being an astronaut. And all it is is a motherfucking dream. They don't put the work behind the dream. That dream has become their fucking master. When you become the master of your fucking dream, is when you say, I want to go be a Navy SEAL, and you say, okay, I'm going to lose 106 pounds in less than three fucking months. The dream was the one thing I thought about, and the dream was now gone. Now, what comes in, the dream goes away, and the fucking laundry list of fucking details and tasks come up. Got to do this, got to do this, got to do this, got to do this. That's when you become the master of your dream. It feels good to talk about that shit, man. It actually makes you feel good, makes you feel proud, all that shit. 
But guess what happens? That alarm clock goes off at 4 a.m. to train. Mm. I don't want to be a SEAL today. Or I don't want to be whatever today. I'll start tomorrow. And that's the usual pattern of people's lives. That's why I talk about clearing out the mind. Until you really want to do something, you're always going to be a talker.